Now, I've got Jeff Falls with me. Jeff's the producer from out of Caston and has been selling at the Ballarat market for close on 20 years now. Jeff, uh, high growing prices uh, and a market that really hasn't been very sympathetic to you over the last 12 months. Where, uh, what's your future in the industry at this particular point? Well, we're in the process of getting out and we hope to be out by the end of January. And you know, I think it's time to move on to another industry. It's sad to see the pigs go, but I can't see pigs improve in the next 12 months. Um, it's just a new ball game now at the import and lack of local demand. You can't get the price up to cover their costs. The industry is just contracting all the time. We, um, we used to run up to 250,000. We stripped the boat to throw it outside and I finished in Shelton. Uh, we used to bring 70, 75 here every week. Yeah. And, uh, you know, big pig markets here, the Christmas market was always something to remember and cherish. Uh, uh, it's sad to, to know that we're going to go back to a fortnightly market in Ballarat and, uh, and perhaps you won't be a part of it. Yeah. In the old days, if you came here and there's under a thousand pigs, we thought beauty, there's no pigs, it's going to be a ripper market. Okay. James Sherrick from out of Perinellum. James, the family's been selling here for close on 40 years. Um, What's going to be your position in the pig industry after Christmas? Will you continue on or are you going to draw something? Uh, we'll continue on just as we have for the last 40 years. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. Um, look, I think the, pig, the industry is not much different to have been over the last 10 years, with the exception of um, a severe drought. Um, our grain price is our biggest problem. Um, so uh, once things turn around that, in that area, we should be back to normal. Yeah. So you uh, you hopefully see that happening reasonably quickly in the next. Um, I don't think it's going to happen in the next two or three. Years, the next two or three. Years. I've got Trevor Bosher with me, auctioneer for Crawford Dowling. So Trevor um, news out this late last week that the Ballarat pig market suffering from numbers, and you plan in the early next year to go back to the uh, a fortnightly sale. Um, What's the main reason behind all that? Lack of numbers, um, drought causes, high grain prices, lack of water in the northern um, state. Uh, numbers will be a bit down on um, what we've been experiencing, so we'll just have to go forward and I'll be to get the numbers to get the buyers here. Right, and, and what's going to be the arrangement there? Yes, Bendigo is going to sell in the morning and we're going to sell at uh, 12 o'clock. So if I had to go to Bendigo, we'll have time to come to Ballarat and then we'll just keep to Ballarat and make up the road. Yeah, is there a place in the industry for a week? pig market in the state? Oh, definitely. If we get the numbers back into Ballarat, which would be great. Uh, a few of these bigger blokes, if they might supply us with a few things to keep the market alive, we'd certainly go back to a week. Now, I've got Jack Barnett with me. Uh, Jack's been a 40-year uh, buyer at the Ballarat pig market, run his own shop for a little while, and uh, now is a commissioned buyer, sending pigs back to Tasmania. Jack, the decision to uh, close the Ballarat market down, um, run, only run it of a... Um, of a, on a fortnightly basis after um, the, in the new year. Well, how concerning is it to the uh, so the people that you supply pigs to in the fresh pig market? It's very, it's going to be very difficult for them. But they'll have to find a way to work around it. Numbers are, are forcing the agents into going to a fortnight. So, but unfortunately, uh, it's probably the beginning of the end when they go fortnightly. They'll have to get the numbers here so the buyers will come with a bit of confidence and go home with a load of fish. Yeah. Now, you, you don't know what you're going to get until you get here and the bigger buyers can't buy in there. One, buy one in year there was 4,000 fish. But consistently this time of year we'd be adding 2,000 fish. Yeah. Now, I don't know what it was either day, but there's probably only six, seven hundred of them. Yeah. You know, is is there a means to an end for the for the uh, for the small butchering uh, uh, person who needs that supply of fresh pigs? Well, that's right. Well, he's only going to get it in one place, and that's here. If they go to the big uh, processors, he. Uh, the fellow that only wants a few pieces is going to be better.